Hello friends. So today we can discuss another problem from the combinatorics series I've been working on, and this is a sort of lecture type of thing. Uh, we're gonna not discuss any problem in this video, but uh, we're gonna see this problem only. A problem uh, like this on uh, interviewed, which is implementing this power function. So what this lecture is about to implement this function of finding out a to the power of b mod c. so you have seen such type of question a lot in contest and in like interview problems in which you have to find out a to the power of b and then because a to the power of b become too large you have to mod it with like some m or a prime number which is like most likely 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so it's not necessary but uh, let's see so the problem here is you have to find out a to the power of b mod c and c can be anything like it can be prime number or not any any number so you have to implement this function now if you want to do mod of any number then i have previously uploaded a video how to find out mod like you can check that out in this series only just two videos before this then uh, it is a very good video to how to implement mod in any type of questions and we're going to do or use those function to implement this property so we're going to understand how this function is working So, if you want to implement a to the power of b, what does this mean? That you have to multiply a b times. So, a a a b times. Okay. So, uh, let's assume that two to the power of three is equal to like two into two into two. So, this is the basic knowledge you can know. And then, uh, if you want to mod it, let's assume with some number uh, three. So, this is equal to eight mod three. and the answer is 2 yeah so this is the uh, like basic uh, theory you want to know but how to implement this now if you want to multiply this number then like maybe you can do this like in an o of n operation because if you want to do an a to the power of b what you can easily do here is multiply a b times so b can be a very large number let's assume 10 to the power 6 so if you want to do a 10 to the power 6 multiplications of a then you will like in the simple term you will multiply a to 10 to the power 6 times so a a a a and then uh, this can also be done but this a to the power of b can be calculated in log n time also now how you can do this in log n time because you can store the answer which you have pre computed what i mean by this is let's assume that if you want to calculate 10 to the power 16 or a to the power 16 then if you somehow calculate a to the power of 8 then if you like double it double not double it but multiply this with itself then it tend to pass 16 only or like 8 to power 16 what does this mean is that you don't have to calculate 8 to power you don't have to do uh, like like you don't have to pre compute 8 to power of 8 again if you just calculate 8 to power of 8 value once just multiply this value by itself and the answer will be yours so thus if you don't have to do just a a a a times i hope you get my point again if you want to calculate a to power 8 it's just beneficial to calculate a to power 4 and then multiply this with itself and then this is the answer if you just calculate this and thus you can recursively break the bigger problem into smaller problems and this because it is dividing by 2 at every time it is just a log n uh, solution so it's like a to power 2 into a to power 2 So if you just know a to the power two, just twice it, and then you get a to the power four. If you just again twice it, like double or multiply this value by itself, you get just you just get ten to the power eight. If you just do the same process again, you will get ten to the power sixteen, and so on. But now let's assume if you want to calculate ten to the power five, a to the power five. Let's assume then you can break this down into a to the power four into a. Then you can break down a to the power four like this, which is simple. so uh, solving such type of problem you can either do this in a recursive manner which i've told you in which uh, what you can do you can multiply like if you want to find out a 10 to the power 16 value then you can recursively call 10 to the power 16 by calling 10 to the power 8 and then storing this value in let's assume b and then just doing b into b and then returning this answer out from the function and again for calling this 10 to the power 8 recursively call this function again With 10 to the power 8, when you call this, it will break down into 10 to the power 4, and it will store the answer in B, and then it will, the B into B is written out, and recursively this function is called, which I have like I have drawn the trick here. 
you can like rewind it to question or the video but there is also a simple and iterative way which is relatively fast because for loops are or while loops are faster than recursive functions so what you can observe here is just at every step the answer or like a to power b if you want to calculate a to power b and b is even then you can divide the value at every point if you want to calculate 10 to power 18 or like 16 you can find out 10 to power 8 and 10 to power 8 and then like multiply them so what you can easily do here is you have to find out the result initialize result with 1 or there they are two base conditions if b is equal to 1 which means that a to the power of b and b is equal to 1 so a to the power 1 is just a so answer is just a if b is equal to 0 which means that uh, a to the power of 0 which is like any number power 0 is 1 only so these are the two base conditions and then there is some result and then there is some value let's assume a to the power of 7 we want to calculate so if you want to calculate 8 plus 7 what we're going to do we're going to take this 7 and then we're going to check that whether it is an even number or odd number if it is an even number what we're going to do we're going to take the a because it is a now okay let's assume that we have some value capital a okay and uh, some cap capital value like capital b a is initially storing a and b is storing this value which is the power a to power b which is uh, 7 in this case okay now this is result if this is odd what we're gonna do we're gonna take this number a and multiply this a with this result okay and then if you multiply this it will become a I, I'm, I will tell you why we are multiplying this but let's assume that we multiply this result with a and now this is here and because we have multiplied my result with a I have used one a and thus uh, we're gonna decrease this a to power b with 6 because we have stored one value and now because it is a perfect factor uh, like it can be divided by 2 so now what we can do like this is actually 7 to 6 we are gonna make this value half and make this value multiply with itself so now this value will become a square and this value will become 3 so what we are doing here is see a to the power of 6 can also be written as a square to the power of 3 and that's what we are doing because see this value which is a and this power is b so because we are halving we are because we can we have to find out the answer in the end we cannot do any strange thing but what we can do we cannot transfer the powers and thus as we can see that because it is totally 6 if we twice or like multiply a with itself it will become a square and because it becomes a square the total is 10 to power 6 or sorry 8 to power 6 so this will get half and it will become 3 i hope you get my point so now this is a square and this is 3 now what we can observe that this is 3 we have to keep on dividing this b such that it will become 0 okay now it is odd again so i cannot do anything so what we can do we will take this a multiply this in result again which is a square and then because we have used this a square what we are going to do we will subtract this power because we have used this a once this is now 2 and now what we are going to do because I have 2 I can again do the same thing I can divide this by 2 and like twice this like multiply this with, with itself and then divide this by 1 or like 2 again so then if it is multiply this with again it will become a to the power of 4 and this is half so it is 1 and then because it turns out to be 1 what we are going to do we will multiply this this is odd so we will multiply this with this number so it will multiply 8 to the power 4 and we will subtract this by 1 so this is 0 and yeah when it turns out to be 0 we are going to break and as you can see in this now the result is storing 10 to the power of 7 or 4, 5, 6, 7 which is our value which we want to find in iterative way i hope you get the point so what we are doing here is see what we are doing in this in a very general form is we're gonna finding out whether the power is even or odd if it is even we just simply divide b by 2 and to, like double the value of a which is double means that we multiply this a by by a itself 
such that it will like a into it it will become a into it or the value of a it just get double uh, it's not double itself but it was like the power of like it it is multiplying of a with a but if it is odd we cannot divide this by 2 directly but what we can do because we have some extra a we're going to take this a to the result because finally result will store out the final answer and see because we are finding out this particular answer what we're going to see we're going to take this a multiply this by result such that if we have taken this a so because see now my current value is let's assume that i don't have a but i have so because let's assume that i also take some 2 to the power of 7 it can be written down as like 2 into 2 to the power of 6 okay now because 6 is written there what we're gonna say we are we have to do this like we have to double it and we have to make my power half so it will become like 4 to the power of 3 now 3 is again some odd number so what we're gonna do we will take 2 into 4 into 4 to the power of 2 now because it is again some even number we're gonna half it and make my value double so what we're gonna do 2 into 4 into like 16 to the power of 5 and then when we come to 1 it's just end and that's what we are doing as you can see this, this is just the same thing and that's how we're gonna storing my answer and result this through this result or through this example i hope you get some intuition how we are doing this because see we have to find my answer and result but at every point we have either two options whether the power is even or odd if it is even just make my power half and make the value double and if my power is odd multiply this value because we have to take like take out this value once and if you take out this value once then the other value will become even power and then you can do the continuous doing the same thing and thus this value will store out my final answer or final answer of the result but because of the modulo part we, we already know that a modulo b or like a modulo c multiply with like b modulo c whole modulo c will store the final answer if you want to do some modulo operations like you can watch my previous video and thus because we are doing all the multiplication we are gonna take every multiplication mod c and then we are gonna keep doing this multiplication and thus we are gonna use the mod function which we write in the program and then it will become more clear and more intuitive how to solve this problem and then it is a very simple problem if you just understand this two three key logics so we're gonna dive to the code part now to even make it more clear so this is the code uh, the problem is simple we have to just find out a to the power of b mod c so this is the m which i used to find out the mods so this is the mod function and the multiplication function you can watch my previous video to understand how this mod and multiplication function works so because we can initialize my m which is actually the mod value we're going to use in this mod and multiplication with d because d is here is the value we have to do the mod so that's why we have to initialize m which is actually this d function or d value and then this mod function is just finding out the mod of x if we insert x in this function finding out x mod m and this multiplication is just the finding out the multiplication of a and b mod like m and this is the mod power function like which find out the value of a to the power of b mod c which is x and y so i have told you two base condition in which uh, like y if y is equal to 0 then the answer is 1 only if y is equal to 1 then we have to find out the value of the value is x mod m or you can write down this as it's better to write mod x in this uh, value and then the answer is like and the final answer we have to find out the result which i've told you so this is an iterative way like you can write a for loop also i've done using while loop then it is already simple uh, like similar so we have to keep on doing the operation on y till it is positive if it becomes zero in the end then we have to come out of the while loop so we have to do the loops until y is positive so if the y is odd we have to multiply the result with x x means a else if it is not odd what we're going to do if it is even only then we have to multiply x with itself and we have to do all the multiplication using this function don't do diet multiplication because if you do diet multiplication then uh, it will not get mod we have to do a power b mod c so we have to do a mod c also 
and then thus that multiplication get very simple if you just multiply the kind of function multiplication function and thus uh, at every multiplication or every mod use this function only that's it so because result will be result multiplied with x which whatever i have told you and uh, if it is not e like odd or if you have taken odd also just multiply result with x and then do the same thing divide y or y means b divide by 2 and multiply x with itself that's what we are doing multiplying x with itself and storing the answer in x and y just divide by 2 because it is even now and uh, yeah and then in the final answer just return out answer and that's the whole logic for this mod by function and uh, this is just the mod by function we just call it out if the answer is 0 x is actually 0 then the answer is i use this fun like this property also because see if the the corner case is if it is the 0 to power 0 then because 0 to power 0 and we have taken that any number power 0 is 1 the answer will be come out to be 1 but if 0 to power 0 it's all, like it is 0 and thus if x is 0 then the answer is obviously 0 that's why i use this condition but else in every condition we just use this mod power function and then just have to find out the power of x to power of n that's what we are finding or a to power of b or x to power of y whatever you can say and we have to do it mod d and we have done this i hope you understand the code part i will paste the code part in the description box if you still have any doubts you can ping me on my telegram channel i will be very happy to reply to you and more videos are coming soon so stay tuned i'll see you next one keep coding bye